victory will rise soon. This is our miracle. Guys, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So, you know, you, you guys have two little babies, young ones, that are we're going to talk about a little bit later, but they're not here right now. Mm -hmm. And I heard you just actually left them with a temporary babysitter. Yeah. And yeah. how? And that, that may be kind of fun, kind of good. When was the last time you guys had a babysitter? Oh, man, I used to have to do like a background check on people before I'd leave my kids with them. Now I'm just like, here you go. Take them. <laughs> Take them. We're going to yeah. go for a date after this. We're going to leave the kids here. <laughs> this is like a date right now. This it's a, like date. a date. You're enjoying the worship. Yes. And you did, but they're really, really great. And we're going to see them a little bit later on. But guys, you are just a powerhouse. So you're founders of the nonprofit Regular for Christ. You are a musician. You guys are currently on tour. This is what your third stop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Third stop. And you're going to be gone for four months, right? Yes. With a two-year-old and a one-year-old? That's correct. Oh, and there's probably not bringing the babysitter on the road, right? No. There's what no babysitter? What You guys are the <laughs> this babysitter. This is it, right here. But what is so cool, um, guys, so just to give a little backstory, you are called to um, share your testimony around the country. And you guys have been doing this for years. Um, and you have a really powerful testimony. Um, tell us a little bit about your story before you had your daughter, and then we'll dive into that a little bit, which, ha which kind of geared your nonprofit. Sure. Definitely. Do you want to start? Sure. So uh, I come from a background of addiction. We both do. And um, we came up into a, a program called Celebrate Recovery. That's where I ended up getting saved and I ended up getting sober. And uh, I really, God put a, a, a passion for sharing my testimony and helping to lead others through what I had gone through for 15 years. And um, getting saved uh, in that program and, and uh, I had a background in music and um, just God put us together kind of through the program too. We, yeah. we stayed closer together through the program. And then when we both got sober, um, we decided to start a, a music ministry together, also sharing our testimony. Uh, I'm a hip hop artist. She sings worship music and she's also a painter. So we started traveling together. Yeah. So, so good. Okay, so now you guys are traveling together um, by RV and but then you you and you get married and um and then you are, you're pregnant with your your first little baby girl. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So we were actually, uh, this was actually pre-RV life. Uh, we were kind of couch. <laughs> pre-RV life. Let me take before, it back. Before the RV. <laughs> yeah. So no, I mean, uh, we, we actually were kind of couch surfing and staying in people's guest bedrooms and stuff as we were touring. It's a lot easier when you don't have kids. You can, you can stay and go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just if you don't have kids, enjoy it because it's a little bit different. Um, <laughs> so a couple of people have kids here. Uh, so yeah, when we, um, about two years into ministry, so we started our ministry in 2012, which was when we got married. Um, two years into ministry, we found out we were expecting a baby and we were really surprised. And then um, we found out that the baby had some major health issues and it was so scary, so scary. Um, our baby, we were 20 weeks pregnant when we found out that she had health issues. So we were only halfway through the pregnancy. And um, they told us our daughter had spina bifida and we didn't know what it was. Um, they also told us she had fluid on her brain, which was related to the spina bifida. And they basically just explained it like this. Her spine didn't fully form right, and the base of her spine was just open and exposed, and it was sticking out of, of her back. Like it was in my, she was inside of me, and her back was completely open on the bottom. And we were so scared. And then they also told us she had this life-threatening heart defect, um, and that we should consider our options, but really, there weren't many options placed in front of us other than, you know, it's, it's a grim outcome or, you know, you could terminate the pregnancy. So it was pretty, pretty scary. Yes. So you guys, you know, you, multiple different doctors and you guys relocated to um, a, a, a get the medical attention that you yes. guys needed, but you really were encouraged to have an abortion. Talk about the miracle. Um, that came from remaining faithful throughout this really difficult time. Yeah, yeah um, well, 
we we were living in Nevada when we found out, and um, we ended up moving to Colorado. We had to make this big decision. We prayed about it. We asked some different people in our life, but ultimately God just led us to move. We left everything behind. Um, we were like technically homeless. We were living in the Ronald McDonald house uh, for the remainder of the pregnancy, and um, they were monitoring her heart and her spina bifida, and the heart thing was the major issue. At this point, they were saying, you know, this was the most life-threatening thing. Um, the heart wasn't pumping properly. It was leaking blood. You could see it right there on the ultrasound. They were monitoring it twice a week. Um, and so we're living out in Colorado. We don't know anyone, but all around the country, the people that we had met during our ministry travels were praying for us. Yeah, sending us gifts and, and um, just support, even people coming to town to visit us. Oh, it was so yeah. special. People were buying us, like it was like the biggest baby shower ever. <laughs> like people bought us, like we had two strollers sent to us. It was yeah. crazy. Mm. So the night before she was born, God just spoke to me and he said, um, I'm gonna heal your daughter. And I remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. and you know what? Um, I posted it on Facebook because I was like, I'm going to be bold about this. Like, there's always that fear when you pray for someone, like, well, if, what if God doesn't heal them right now? Yeah. Like, what are they going to think? Is God not real? But I put it out there on Facebook, and um, the next morning, she was delivered via C-section, and her spine was sticking out of her back. And I remember turning to my husband in the operating room and saying, is she healed? And he said, no, she still has spina bifida. And I didn't understand. I was like, what? God told me he was going to heal her. So a couple of hours later, Dusty came into the room, and I was still healing. You know, when you have a C-section, it's a big deal. Um, and he said, honey, they scanned her heart, and they said it was completely normal. Nothing was wrong with her heart. Oh my God. <laughs> God, praise God. And so now, so now your baby girl, she's two years old. She's traveling the entire country with you yeah. doing ministry. Well, this is where the motorhome comes yes. in. Yes, okay, yeah. so real quick, well, we are running out of time, yeah. but I want you to tell me how she's doing now. Tell me her name, oh, um, and then yeah, quickly tell me about the motorhome. Okay, yeah. somebody gave us a motorhome. They donated us a motorhome <laughs> so we could travel with her and all the so stuff we So we weren't homeless needed. anymore. Yes! <laughs> and then, uh, Amnesty's really healthy. Okay, and you named your baby girl Amnesty. Why, tell, why did you name her that? It means the complete pardon of all transgressions to the point of, forget, of forgetting. And um, God gave her that name to me in a dream, and that's the forgiveness over all sins. When we come to Christ, there aren't certain sins in our life that he didn't die for. He died for every sin, including an abortion. And even yes. though we chose life, we want women out there that we've met in Celebrate Recovery and different recovery settings to know that Christ died for their sins, including that abortion. Right. And now we have another little girl named Noelle, so we have our double portion. Mm. We're yep. so blessed. Oh, so, so good. <laughs> Guys. Well, you are going to be performing for us a little bit later on. Um, tell us real quick the song that you're going to be performing. I'm going to be doing a song called Beauty in the Struggle, which is the title track of my album, Beauty in the Struggle. Oh. And it speaks on my daughter's story and the beauty we've experienced through her testimony. And the power of a testimony. Guys, so, so good. This is the title track, Beauty in the Struggle, from my album. I just want to share with you that there is beauty going through the struggle. Do not run away from that struggle, but face it head on because God is with you in the storm. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That is his promise. And there's so much beauty in that, that we don't have to walk through it alone. Thank you, Lord, for walking with me through my struggles. No matter how hard it gets, you never leave me. Amnesty, this is for you. From believer in my faith without a question Daughter on the way, God I count her as a blessing True confession, I'm a man in the struggle Now the lies of this world tell me I need to buckle down See my daughter was diagnosed before she was born Walking was a question with oversized heart Tearing me to pieces, doctors keep releasing The bad news blues, now my drowning heart is sinking Frequently I'm thinking of why God and what is Questioning his plan like the son know who this father is Feeling like I'm privileged after all I did for you Till he sat me down and remembered what he did for me set me free to see the beauty in the struggle fuel to the fire set the flames to a lover she was made exactly how she's supposed to be perfected in his image holds my heart like, like a, a rosary help lord you're teaching me to trust, trust you praise, praise you in the storm like i'm dancing in a if i lose you're there for me to cry too falling is a privilege because your victory will rise 
help Lord, you're teaching me to trust you Praise you in the storm like I'm dancing in a If I lose, you're there for me to cry too Falling is a privilege cause your victory will rise too Daughter born, see a form right before my eyes Tears start to flow, but it's the joy leaking out as cries Try to put it into words, but seems to be escaping me Everything I am is the everything I give a heart Serve with emotions, learning about devotions My powerlessness is God-given, he's my strength Walking around a waiting room, pacing after surgery Breathing by a tube, Lord, let, let your mercy be Raining down on me, and I'm pleased that you set me free This clarity of your mind, when my wife and I are questioning I can tell without a doubt in my body There's purpose in the storm Just trust in you and see it through God knew what he was doing when he chose us Bless us with a daughter to show us what you love is Now my heart is living on the outside And my job as a father is to show her where her value lies Help Lord, you're teaching me to trust you Praise you in the storm like I'm dancing in a If I lose, you're there for me to cry too Falling is a privilege cause your victory will Help, Lord, you're teaching me to trust you Praise you in the storm like I'm dancing in a If I lose, you're there for me to cry too Falling is a privilege cause your victory will rise Got a home, feel the joy in my household Hold her in my arms, try to calm her as I down slow. slow down, life changing cause I'm sold out Daddy in the kitchen, heating bottles on the low down Feel the sunshine beaming through the window pane Exposing this mannequin, grinning like I've gone insane Oh, happy day, praise him as I'm face down Head between my knees like Elijah calling rain now. I'm rain dancing in the storm that's far from over Know the grand infernal planet seeds in the springtime the Lord grows us the most in the valley. Space, battle, trust, trust, hope, joy. I know now what my parents really did for me. I truly appreciate the patience of my family. Now I'm certain in my purpose. No more searching. This little lady lover is her daddy. That won't ever stop. So we did a full scan of her heart and found absolutely nothing wrong. It appears that her heart defect has disappeared. I can't explain to you how this might have happened. You're just one of the lucky ones. Help, Lord, you're teaching me to trust you. Praise you in the storm like I'm dancing in a. If I lose, you're there for me to cry too. Falling is a privilege because your victory will rise. Help, Lord, you're teaching me to trust you. Praise you in the storm like I'm dancing in a. If I lose, you're there for me to cry too. Falling is a privilege because your victory will rise soon. This is our miracle. And this is our double portion. Thank you, Lord, for being with us in the struggle.